Good afternoon, representatives. For the record, my name is Matthew Mead. I'm a Blaine County resident, and I'm here today to speak in favor of House Bill 122. Before I begin, I just want to thank you guys all for taking the time to serve our state and serving on this committee. Agriculture is a hugely important part of Idaho and is a fabric of our Idaho way of life. Uh, while many people are celebrating a three-day weekend, I appreciate you guys taking the time here on President's Day, which also happens to be George Washington's birthday. It's both fitting and an honor to be here speaking in favor of this bill on Washington's birthday because I believe the pres first president of the United States would support this bill himself. In February 24th of 1794, Washington wrote in a letter, quote, I am very glad that the gardener has saved much of the St. Foyne seed and that of the India hemp. Make the most you can do with both. The hemp may be sown anywhere. Today, Idaho is one of three states here in the United States where industrial hemp may not be sown. The prohibition of industrial hemp uh, remains here in the gem state is out of accord with the 2018 Farm Bill and inhibits economic opportunity for our agricultural sector as well as for small businesses like mine. My company, Hempitecture, uses industrial hemp as a component in a high-performing building systems. Specifically, we focus on an insulating composite called hempcrete. Hempcrete is made from the wooden core of the industrial hemp stalk, a limestone binder, and water. It cures by absorbing carbon dioxide. One cubic foot of our wall material is estimated to offset about seven pounds of carbon dioxide. Used as an insulation, the resulting material is fireproof, resistant to mold, non-toxic, and long-lasting. In 2017, my company built the first commercial hempcrete building in the United States, right here in our backyard in beautiful Custer County. Built for a nonprofit organization, the building and beautiful property that it sits on serves as an education and outdoor retreat facility that draws people nationally. For this building project and the others that we've built across the United States, we've had to source the wooden core, which you can see over here, from Canada to as far as Holland. With the passing of the Farm Bill, now my company is able to buy processed material here in the United States for the first time. Idaho is late and is missing out on this opportunity to meet this growing demand. Industrial hemp has many forms and many uses. I cannot speak to those uses as what I focus on is building materials, although I will say I had hemp protein in my smoothie this morning. What I do know is that industrial hemp can be used as a component in great materials. When considering House Bill 122 and further legislative action regarding industrial hemp cultivation in Idaho, I urge you to think of the potential of a fireproof house using hempcrete, to think of a non-toxic fiber insulation for a healthier home, and to think of this hemp-based plywood replacement that you can also see here. These are just some of the many opportunities for farmers, entrepreneurs, and business owners in the state of Idaho with industrial hemp recognized as an agricultural commodity. Thank you, and with that, I'll stand for questions. All right, do we have questions? No? So thank you for bringing these great examples. Yeah.